Welcome to part two of DrVoip.com technical tip on short tail contact center reporting. In this second part, we're going to talk exclusively about real time reports and we're going to take an up close and personal look at the agent monitor. So, from a desktop um, PC, connected to the network in which you have supervisor privileges, you're going to go start all programs, Shortel, Contact Center, Agent Manager. And this will bring up the login screen. You will need supervisor privileges to uh, activate this or at least monitoring privileges. And as is the case in all of the Shortel Contact Center applications, you have for reporting you have the uh, option of uh, opening a previously created report or creating a new one we're going to go ahead and create a new report this will bring up a list of previously defined templates these are system templates that come out of the box with the system and they're further divided up into real-time hourly summary or daily summary uh, here we're seeing a list of all I just want to see the real-time list, I'll go here and that'll uh, abbreviate the list down to those uh, templates that provide real-time reporting. Let's take a look at probably one of the more popular templates, that would be the brief agent report. And I'll say OK. This will bring up the uh, brief agent template um, and at this point it's asking me which um, which agents do I want to include? So I'm going to put uh, Ben and Brian and uh, Gandalf and Peter and Sean in there. And at that point, uh, we can see that Ben is logged out and Brian uh, is currently in the release mode and Gandalf is logged out, Peter is idle. So this gives you a real time uh, display of what's going on in your contact center you can right click and add remove columns this will bring up the opportunity for you to select some additional columns uh, if i want to see for example the current acd group i'll go ahead and click there and say add and this will create a new icon over here excuse me a new column that has that information so we have annie dns uh, Non-ACD calls, handled ACD calls, release code, state time, state agent extension, uh, the agent number, the agent name. So this is uh, a real-time display of what is going on uh, in the system um, at a refresh rate of one second. So let's uh, let's take a look at another one. I'm going to say new, and perhaps I want. Um, to see agents needing help. This, of course, is a display that when agents click the help button um, on their agent toolbar, uh, they will be displayed to the supervisor here. Let's take a look at another uh, popular report for supervisors in the call center. This would be the detailed group report. Uh, of course, we're going to have to select which report we're interested in. In this case, I'm going to select uh, the first level tech support queue. And this brings up a real-time list of the calls in queue, the average time in queue, active calls or pending calls outbound, the number of agents logged in, available, who's in release, who's in wrap-up, etc. And Statistics about the calls uh, presented and accepted, abandoned, or interflowed in the system for inbound calls and for outbound calls. So this is a very dynamic screenshot, uh, very useful in the call center, uh, one that uh, we expect to see up on almost every agent supervisor desk. We often put this on a PC and then display it up on the um, a big flat panel uh, TV screen so that everybody in the call center can see the current uh, brief agent report as well as the 
group detail report. Okay, you can see that we have a wide variety of reports, templates to choose from, and you can modify many of these templates to achieve the requirements specific to your call center. So just selecting a template um, will often require you to specify the group that you're interested in. You can open the same uh, report uh, several times for different groups. So to agent distribution group again, but this time uh, I may want to select a, a different uh, group to monitor. So these tools are available in the agent monitoring section of the contact center and you will need to have either supervisor privileges or monitoring privileges when you log in. You can save these reports. Uh, I'm going to save it as this time a private report, meaning that this report is only available to me uh, through my login. If I made it public, then the report would be available to anybody that logged in and had supervisor or monitoring privileges. You can also declare the workspace to be your default workspace. And this will cause this screen to materialize whenever I log in. So once I have a screen set up that um, is acceptable to me as the supervisor, I can declare it to be my default workspace and then each time I log in, this screen will be uh, presented. So that uh, summarizes part two of our contact center reporting video. In part one, we covered historical reports. And in part two, we covered the agent monitor. Uh, tune in for part three, and we'll take a look at cradle to grave or interaction reporting. Thanks for viewing, and come see the entire video library at worldwideweb.com.